In this video, I'll show you how to set up your iPhone 15. Could be the normal one, the Pro one, the Pro Max, it doesn't matter, it all gets set up the same way. So let's get started right away. So after unboxing the iPhone, you should have the cable over here and the iPhone itself. So when you turn it on, you should see this screen appearing with uh, this graphic. If your iPhone is not turned on, you just have to press the power button and the volume down during about five seconds and the screen should power on. Then next step is to swipe up from the bottom of the screen. You see there's a small white bar here. Just swipe up like this. And then you should have the language selection. So easy, just choose your language in this very long list, I'll choose English. Choose the region you're in. Uh, yours should be right on the top, but if it's not the one that it says there, again, just choose it from the list. I'll choose mine. Next step, they will ask you to choose the appearance, how you want it to look. Default, I suggest you leave it there, but if you prefer having uh, larger icons, you can choose medium, or if you want very large icons, choose large, but this is mostly for people that have trouble with their site. In my case, I'll just leave it to default because I feel this is the best um, of these three options. And I'll press continue. If you have another iPhone that you want to transfer your files and your account and every settings to your new iPhone 15, you need to bring it closer over here. So this so your iPhone 15 detects the older one and the transfer will begin. But if you want to set up, set up as a new device, like in my case, you're going to press on set up without another device. This, this way you're going to start fresh. Next step, you're going to choose your Wi-Fi network of your home or office from this list. Mine is over here. I'll click on it and I will type the password. Once you typed it, press join. Press continue. Now you just have to wait at this uh, step. If there is a software update to be installed on your brand new iPhone, you're going to be presented with this page. I suggest you press update, that, update now. This way your iPhone will be updated when you'll start using it. So press the blue button, then press agree. And now you just have to wait because it will download and install the update. And this can take a few minutes depending how fast your internet network is. So I'll just let it sit like this until it's done and I'll come back when everything is finished. Okay, so the iPhone is now updated and what happened is that it goes back in the process of setting it up. So we'll just do the same thing that I showed you just a few minutes ago. So I'll keep it to default, continue, I'll uh, click on setup without another device here, just do the same thing, okay? Data and privacy here, press the continue button. Next, press on setup for myself. Now they'll ask you if you want to set up Face ID. This way, when you unlock the iPhone, you can do it simply by looking at the camera on the top over here. In my case, I won't set it up right now. You can do this later after you've finished the whole process. So I'll just click on set up later, but if you want to do it right now, just press continue and it will be done. So I'll press that. It will ask you to create a passcode for this iPhone. You have the choice to create one using this number pad over here, or you can press on passcode options. And here you're gonna have a bit more options. So you'll have custom alphanumeric code if you want to include some letters custom numeric code four digit and you can also choose to not have any passcode at all in my case i'll just press cancel and type one over here just for this video i'll uh, make this very easy but anyway don't use mine because everyone will guess it very quickly so i'll press use anyway uh, i'll have to retype it now, next step, they will ask you if you want to transfer your apps and data from if you have them in your iCloud account or from another iPhone or from your Mac, PC, Android. If you just want to start fresh like myself without any kind of transfer, I'll just click on the last option, which is don't transfer anything. 
and here it will ask you to sign in into your Apple ID. This way you'll be able to download apps and do other kind and activate uh, different features that you won't be able to activate if you don't have an Apple ID. So go ahead and type it over here, your email or phone number, depending what you're using to log in. If you don't have an Apple ID, what you can do is click over here, forgot password or don't have Apple ID. And you can, you, and you'll be able to set one up over here, create a free Apple ID. You don't even need a credit card. And, uh, or if you forgot your password, just go over here and retrieve it. In my case, I'll just click on set up later in settings because you're not obligated to do this right now. So I'll press don't use. Here I'll press agree on the top right corner. It will ask you if you want your iPhone to update automatically every time there's an update or if you prefer doing manually, you're going to click only download uh, automatically. This way it won't install it. In my case, I'll just press continue here. If you want to set up iMessage and FaceTime on your iPhone so, so people can contact you this way, you're going to press continue. Location service, just press enable location services. Here press set up later in settings. If you want to use Siri, which is the voice assistant, so you can ask, hey Siri, uh, do this or do that or what's the weather. If you want to have this feature, press continue. And you'll be able to choose between five different Siri voices. You can hear them by clicking. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the Hi, I'm Siri. Hi, I'm Siri. The the Let's say I want this use. one. I'll press if continue. And now they'll ask you to say, Siri, how's the weather? Siri, how's the weather? And you have to repeat uh, whatever is written on the screen. Hey Siri, send a message. Hey Siri, send a message. Well, sometimes it doesn't work. Well, obviously I'm talking right now something else, so it's a bit confusing for uh, Siri. Hey Siri, send a message. Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, get directions home. Siri, play some music. And when you're done, you're going to press continue. You can click share audio recordings here. If you want to have a screen time, which it will give you some statistics showing you how much you're using the phone. Well, press continue. Here you can actually choose don't share because you're not obligated to share your personal data with Apple to improve the system. That's up to you really, but I'll click don't share. You'll have to choose between different options over here. Do you prefer having a light or dark appearance on your iPhone? Or you can also choose uh, auto. So the iPhone will decide itself if it's, if it's uh, light or dark by itself. And I prefer auto, so I'll click auto and continue. Press continue. It, you'll have the screen, welcome to iPhone. Swipe up to get started. Whoop, I'll just swipe like this and you're done. You're now in the main screen and you can start using your iPhone. But now next step before you can actually play some calls and even use your data is to install the SIM card because it's not yet installed. What you need to do is you see on the left side over here, you, you have the SIM card tray. It's where the small hole is. In the box with your iPhone, you should get this small metal tool that is a SIM card eject tool. If you don't have one, no worry, don't need to stress out because you can simply use a paper clip or a needle to do the same exact job as this one. So what you need to do is to insert it in the hole here, like this, and then you're going to apply some pressure. Let me show you like this. I'll simply push it a bit, don't need to be very brutal, just a tiny bit until the um, hole tray pops out. Then you can put this down and Take it with your fingers, like this. We can put the iPhone away for a second and take your, whoops, take your SIM card over here. So how to insert it? 
Well, there's only one way you can do it and it's very easy. So this is my SIM card over here. And you notice that one of the corner, this one over here on the top left corner is cut. It is not 90 degrees as the other ones. Okay. If we check the tray over here, the same thing is happening. You see one of the corner here is cut out, not uh, at 90 degrees. We just need to align it. So you can place it over here and you see, this is the cutout corner, lower right side and lower right side is the small cutout on the tray. We're just gonna put it over like this. And to know that you did a good job, you just need to take the tray and the SIM card should stay absolutely flush. You should not see it at all going above or under if we look at it from the side like this. Then take the tray, take your iPhone, and to know how to align them, you see there's a small hole here and the tray itself has a small hole. What you need to do is simply align those and push gently the tray in, push with your finger and then just do this so the tray stays flush. Pass your finger and if nothing, and if you can't feel it anymore, it's perfect. It means the SIM card is installed. Now, next step, unlock your phone. Just wait about a minute, two minutes, three minutes, and you should see your uh, carrier, your network carrier uh, name on the top over here. If you don't see anything, if nothing changes, don't worry. You just need to restart your iPhone. And to do so, you just need to press the power button here and the volume down button both at the same time. I'll do it during two seconds, one, two, until you see the screen, and then you're gonna slide to power off. Wait about five seconds, 10 seconds, and then we're gonna power back on the iPhone. The same way, press the power button and the volume down about three, four seconds until you see the Apple logo appearing. Then you can release them and you just have to wait until um, the unit powers back on. And this should make your iPhone search for the network of your SIM card and everything should work properly. So this is it. I hope this was useful. If so, please leave a like, comment down below. If you have any comments, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.